Good evening, everyone. Welcome to a Fishbowl Conversation Series, Unleashing Your Full Potential Equipped for Excellence. Uh, this is an initiative of the Barbados Coalition of Service Industries, and I'm pleased to have some wonderful people joining us this evening. Uh, our featured speaker, Mr. Zaid Badwan, Director of Customer Success at Coursera, as well as Dr. Alison Leacock from the National Transformation Initiative. Uh, we are so excited to have both of you join us here this evening as part of our conversation, Fishbowl Conversation. BCSI is so pleased to work with our partners in our 20th year, especially along with Gainon. Um, I know Empress Singa as well as DJ Simmons, uh, they are part of this initiative as well today. So we are really looking forward to having all of you participate in this session. There will be a question and answer series later in the evening and you will definitely be able to participate in that. Just shoot your questions in the comment section on Facebook. Our team, Ashley Phillips and Tahir Balbulia will be working with you in responding to those as well. They'll be fielding those questions to us where we'll have those questions answered for you. I also see uh, Ms. Marcel Greenwich as well as Randy Clark. They'll be participating at some point within this evening's presentation. On behalf of the directors of the Barbados Coalition of Service Industries, the president, Mr. Paul Clark, vice president, uh, Mr. Colin Daniel, we want to thank you for joining us here this evening, and we look forward to this conversation. Well, we're going to get the evening off the ground, we're definitely going to get it started, and we are going to have an opening overview uh, by NTI Coursera partnership video presentation. NTI is the vision of the Honorable Mia Amor Makri, Prime Minister of Barbados, with the goal of improving Barbados's global competitiveness by ensuring we are all star Bajans engaging globally with Bajan roots. In September of 2018, I shared a vision. It was the re re program involving the retooling, the empowering, the retraining, and the enfranchising of our workers at the core of our homegrown. Barbados Economic Recovery Transformation Program. What does all that mean? It means that we must use this period of disruption, of crisis, to learn the skills that we need to make us globally competitive star agents. Through this partnership, the government is pleased, therefore, to make available to all Barbadians over 20,000 opportunities in enrollment licenses, which will allow Barbadians to have an extensive online catalog of over 4,700 courses, 1,500 guided projects that help deliver locally relevant content at scale, and indeed the opportunity for over 450 specializations. This is for all Bajans who want to learn, to have a chance to learn. Coursera will create the opportunities for that skills transfer and sustainable training by giving us the content and the authoring tools to allow Barbadian subject matter as well to be created in digital content for use by us as Bajans in our own country. In addition to this partnership, I'm so happy that Coursera is also agreeing to give us 20,000 scholarships for women and girls primarily, but also our vulnerable young men. These scholarships have a value of over $13.2 million over the course of the next three years. This is an investment in Barbadian people that we cannot allow to escape us. As Barbados builds a road to recovery, education and training will play an important role. It is critical that Barbadians have access to the resources and skills training that they need to address local challenges and re-enter the workforce in high growth fields such as tourism, and blue and green economies. This is just one way that NTI is helping ensure a level playing field for all. Really great, great presentation. And we're definitely in a new environment. The COVID-19 pandemic has somewhat trusted us into a different environment, a way of new thinking, a new way of action. And we are certainly all here uh, virtually connecting with you, having the conversation and bringing that conversation uh, to you. 
I'm going to move on uh, for our second presentation before we reach our featured speaker for this evening. Uh, the team going on, uh, Empress Zynga, I know DJ Simmons, they have a presentation for us this evening. DJ Simmons, Empress Zynga, you with us? One thing I really love about being an artist, about being a creative, is the idea of learning and learning about my craft and learning about my culture so that that can help influence how I communicate my thoughts or what I have to say to society. Right. The more we learn, mm -hmm. the better we are at communicating, the better research is being done. So you have your facts in order so that you can maybe make an argument or create a piece of literature or a conversation that you want on a particular topic. Yeah, because learning has helped you to grow. And as you're growing, you get that confidence, you understand? And you be able to then be more innovative yeah. with what you are creating. It inspires learning, inspires you, yeah. and it inspires your audience as well. And working with NTA, the National Transformation Initiative, they, their foundation really, really aligns with ours, mm -hmm. which is changing the narrative about Beijing, creating stars with mm -hmm. the two R's, you understand? <laughs> to make sure that you build that confidence and pride in yourself through education, through learning, the things that you always wanted to know, you include those, you immerse yourself in them, and you're able to communicate, as you were saying, more effectively, more efficiently. And the thing is, what's great about NTI too is that they understand that right now we're living a fast-paced life. Uh, artists, you know, it was it's hard for artists. So they make sure it is as comfortable as possible in the palm of your mm -hmm. hand that you can get these, these free courses that you could just absorb them yes. and make sure that you remember to the reason why you are learning that's to build yourself yeah. build your confidence build your pride build your education build your mental health build your mental strength yeah. and i can't wait to see every vision thinking that them as a star <laughs> with the two r's and that's what's going on <laughs> creativity with coursera maybe i should change it to that mm -hmm. i don't know Wow, I feel super excited. And I just learned that they're absolutely free. So I hope you guys are certainly taking notes. Uh, who doesn't like freeness? I do. And especially when it allows us to actually improve on ourselves and allows us to access education to take us forward into this new era. I'm certainly excited to learn from our guest speaker this evening a little bit more of Coursera and what they are doing with us here in Barbados. We heard uh, from the entire presentation earlier, uh, the initiative that was founded by our Prime Minister, the Honorable Mia Mormontley. And we are certainly excited to, to introduce uh, the Coursera team, Mrs. Zane Badwan, uh, to our stakeholders and our members of the BCSI, as well as the wider public. Mr. Badwan, are you with yes, us? I am. Super Thank excited you so to hear much. from you. Yeah, lo uh, lovely to be with you. Good afternoon or good evening to everyone on the call. Before I get started, I'd just like to thank Allison and the NTI team for uh, the partnership and the opportunity to be here and Jamal for that wonderful opening. Um, I haven't smiled and laughed like that on a call in a long time, so it's, the energy is already exactly where I want it to be. Uh, but I do know that we're quite tight on time, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and walk you through why I personally think learning is so important, not even uh, specifically for bar people in Barbados, but people all over the world. Uh, can somebody please confirm that you can see my screen? Per perfect. So before we get started in the spirit of videos, since we all seem to have come prepared with videos today, I'd like to share why I think continuous learning is so incredibly important and the power of Coursera. Wonderful. Um, and so, oops, I knew that would happen. So we're going to move to the next slide this way. Um, so for many years, uh, and I'm sure not 
for the first time, many of you have heard this, automation and COVID-19 have been at the cusp of, dis of, of change within our workforce. So on the left, you can see here that we have automation and COVID being the biggest disruptors according to the World Economic Forum study that was published in October, 2020, which was only about six months after the pandemic began. And as you can imagine, sitting here about a year and a half later, the impacts of this are larger. Um, and what we've seen from some of the studies that have been conducted is that about 85 million jobs will be displaced by 2025. This impacts all industries, all jobs around the world, including in sectors in Barbados. We also see that 40% of core skills today will change by 2025. So if you think about this relative to a traditional four-year degree, what you're going to see is that about a year and a half of that four-year degree becomes less relevant and not as useful by 2025. We also know that 44% of the workforce is going to be working remotely, either today or in the next several months, and that 84% of employers will accelerate digitalization of the workplace due to COVID. I know I've been in the space of digital transformation and adult reskilling for most of my career, and we used to talk about numbers like this being 10, 15, 20 years away, the pandemic has done nothing but accelerate the inevitable change that we've all been bracing for. And through the NTI partnership and, and the prime minister, we have access to all Barbadans to have access to courses to reskill and to think about what future jobs might look like. And so um, emerging job opportunities and needs displayed here show that the businesses and employees require digital skills even before the pandemic. So if you take a look at the left side here, none of this should be surprising to the majority of us on, on our call today. Uh, top jobs like data analytics and AI and machine learning, they are the future jobs of the economies of the world. But there are some surprising things here, like digital marketing, which traditionally wasn't seen as a job that would be immediately disrupted by digital skills. But now folks aren't looking for marketing people anymore, they're looking for digital marketers because having those technical skills, having that technical power, using AI and machine learning to make the right decisions are, future, are the future of jobs. If you take a look at the right side here, this is a study done by Microsoft. Um, this estimates that digital job capacity will grow from 51 million jobs sitting here today to 190 million jobs in five years. Truth is, digital jobs are truly the future of employment, and we should all be taking advantage of opportunities like Coursera to reskill and prepare ourselves for future jobs. So one of the ways that Coursera really does see itself as a helping hand in this transformation that's happening across the world is because we have access to data. This data tells us how our learners around the world reskilling themselves and what are the skills that they're reskilling themselves into. So today you'll find on the Coursera platform we have over 200 industry partners creating market aligned content based off of demand from those 92 million learners. We have over 6,000 institutions transforming skills with our platform. These are partners like Barbados, like the Abu Dhabi government, the United States government, all thinking about how do we reskill our future workforce. And today we're sitting at 92 plus million learners that are on the platform building skills for roles and in industries that they believe are future roles and in industries of tomorrow. All of this activity cultivates into 40,000 different skill sets being developed and taught on our platform, which means that Coursera understands how learners need to learn and what they need to learn to ensure that we're building the right content and preparing people for jobs of tomorrow. Our goal is transformative learning and we're excited to have the partnership between NTI and Coursera to be able to offer this. Diving in a little deeper into what makes Coursera a great way for Bayesians and people of Barbados to reskill and to, to, to dive into to new opportunity, um, we have some of the top university and industry experts in the world building content on our platform. 
This might look like you hoping to improve your data-driven decision-making skills by taking a Google Data Analytics certificate, or maybe you wanna be able to make more advanced data-driven decision-making by taking the University of Colorado of Boulder's course on, it's actually, the course is actually called uh, Data-Driven Decision-Making. You also have the opportunity to join many of our discussion forums where thousands and millions of our learners are having conversations about what they're learning and how they're applying it to their everyday world. So diving in a little bit, you heard the Prime Minister talk about things like courses and certificates and guided projects. So I thought I'd take a moment to show you what is a guided project on our platform. Well, we actually know from a pedagogical perspective that classroom training without application actually has a gap of about 65% of learners unable to apply it to their day-to-day -day work. So if you create guided projects, which are hands-on contextualized learning opportunities, you significantly increase the ability of somebody to learn a skill and then apply the skill to either their own business or the job that they currently have or a job they're looking for in the future. We also know that students without ha hands-on learning opportunities are one and a half times more likely to fail that class. So if you think about every class any of us have ever taken, when it's super theoretical and not application-based, it's kind of hard to stay focused. Guided projects as part of a skill set on our platform drive much higher completion rates and engagement rates from our learners. We bring hands-on learning at scale with guided projects so you can learn things like software application um, that really then apply to the job that you're either doing or a job that you hope to do in the future. And you can see exactly on this slide what this actually looks like uh, on a split screen here where you have the instructor kind of doing their thing on the right side of the screen and you as the learner would be doing it on the left side so you're following along and learning throughout the process. We also um, want to address the big question when it comes to learning, which is what is in it for me as the learner? Well, on our platform, not only do you have access to the skills and the courses, but you also have access to certificates. And many folks choose to actually place these certificates directly on their LinkedIn. And it's quickly becoming an industry standard for skill proof. Um, today, we are the second most popular certificate on LinkedIn. And if you take a look at some of your colleagues, you might even find a few of their Coursera certificates now linked onto their LinkedIn. Um, 21st century skills is a lifelong learning skill set. And um, the model of learn, do, retire really has been a thing of the past. The future of learning, the future of work is learn, do, learn, do, rest, learn, do, learn. And so, Partnerships like Coursera, building a culture of learning throughout Barbados gives me so much excitement in the future of the economy and the workforce in Barbados. So I know we've got many different associations represented here today in areas like environment or engineering or uh, entertainment with some of our guests as well that I get the, the pleasure and honor of being with today. Uh, this gives you a quick look at just a few of the courses that are being offered through the NTI partnership from things like visual arts and fashion to budget management to skill sets around COVID-19 from universities like Florida, Toronto, um, and INSEAD, from blockchain to JavaScript to security software, all of these skills are available through the Coursera NTI partnership. So I'm gonna wrap with one final video. And of course, I believe we'll have time for Q&A before we wrap. Um, I leave you with a few of my favorite learners and the impact that platforms like Coursera have had on their lives. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm seeing in the notes now that you can't hear the audio. Oh, um, hmm. I have not changed hey, anything. Can you try share computer sound? See if it works? Yes. Let's give that a try. Maybe. 
it did work in the test run. <laughs> Still can't hear it? No. Okay, maybe we will play this video at the end once we can do a bit of uh, testing on our side as well. Sorry about that team, these are very good videos. I was really excited to share them with you all. <laughs> We'll sure say that we'll be able to uh, actually upload them even subsequent after uh, this session so that we can actually have our viewers able to see those uh, videos. Um, and I'm sure the team is working um, to see if we can actually have them before the end of the presentation. Um, but amazing, amazing work. And I, I think I'm always learning Every day we are learning, and I think uh, I am now even more intrigued uh, to actually participate in one of these courses. Uh, Dr. Lee Kao is here with us, and I think, uh, Zaid, you've been doing amazing work in helping us realize the star Bajan shaping, uh, the star Bajan selecting, trading, assessing, reviewing, and recognizing the model citizen, the model Barbadian. And I think that is super important, especially as we navigate these extremely trying times in Barbados, but as well trying times in the world where we constantly have to ensure that we are constantly equipping ourselves to unleash our truest, our fullest potential. We're going to move on right along. Uh, we actually have a Q&A session. Uh, Dr. Leacock is here. I don't know if Dr. Leacock, you want to say a few words before you actually uh, start this Q and A session. Traditionally, you're in my role, <laughs> so I know you may want to say a few words uh, before we open up for the Q and A session. Not really. I, I want to be able to hear and and respond to any queries people might have. What I will say is that this partnership is wonderful. I call it tripartite plus one, um, so we can see what's going on, what's going on, and. Um, really not just with NTI and Coursera, but the coalition of service industries and going on and the whole power of partnership, uh, especially when we're heading in the same destination, even if we're taking different routes. And I think that's one of the exciting things about us. Uh, NTI intends to, to leverage all partnerships so that we really do have the inclusion of every Barbadian in all that is happening. So I'm really looking forward to the exchange tonight. I'm sort of eavesdropping and I'm here if there are any questions. Great, great. Well, we have Tyer Balbuya as well as Ashley Phillips who will be helping us uh, with the Q&A segment as well as Ms. Marcel Greenwich and Mr. Randy Clark um, as well here from the NTI team. Uh, supporting our session here this evening. So you can shoot your questions um, in the comment section uh, on Facebook. We'll be certainly looking out for those. But I know also there are always, um, I personally have a first question to start the ball rolling. Um, I'm a creative at heart. Uh, most people are familiar that I am in the performing arts. Uh, what as a performer, as a creative, uh, some of the courses that we can participate in. Um, as uh, creative entrepreneurs, we know that uh, the team from Gainon has been able to capitalize on the opportunity. But for a person out there who's, who's saying, well, I'm just waiting to see until the industry opens back up in Barbados, what advice would you give to them? Dr. Leacott, Zaid, I don't know if you want to take that. Yeah, I'll, I'll start and then I'll pass to Dr. Leacock. But I think that one of the things that I love about the Coursera and Barbados partnership is the fact that we have uh, skill opportunities in areas like entertainment and um, uh, sort of the visual arts areas. I know that just the small sample that I shared includes courses from the Museum of Modern Art in things like visual arts and fashion, but also span areas like happiness and wellness and in terms of how to prepare mentally for all of the changes that are coming for everyone before pandemic, after pandemic. Um, I know that we're focused on areas like green and blue economy in terms of reskilling, but I think there's lots of opportunity to engage in some of those uh, entertainment or, or, or sort of um, 
the arts areas from a skill development perspective. I also think before I pass Dr. Lee talk that, that we don't talk enough about how digital transformation or the future of work is going to also be impacted by the tech, by the digital transformation. So I would be really fascinated to sit back and think about what are the technical skills that folks need in jobs like this? Any other thoughts on that, Dr. Leacock? Well, I think there are a lot of, of skills that are cross-cutting and there are some very specific courses. And um, my colleague, the assistant director who leads Coursera, Marcel Greenwich, as well as um, one of uh, the people we sort of poached from the Ministry of Labor, Randy Clark, they have been very much uh, immersed in curating all of these courses across the board. But I feel as though what we have to almost shift our minds to, to believe is not that our creations are hobbies or part-time, that they are who we are. And that therefore it is important for each of us to equip ourselves with all of the tools available that we don't see ourselves in a silo, but really that we see the creative component as the bedrock of our cultural expression as a people in the Caribbean. And not just in the Caribbean, but certainly for us in Barbados on this cusp of a new journey as a new parliamentary republic, our artists are up front and center. But it does mean that those 149 million jobs you talked about, say, by, by 2025, we need to also understand it's not just the digital platform that we have to use, but that we actually have 3.3 billion jobs with human skills. So we have to also step up our game as individuals so that the, the creativity that we have to share with the world, we can capitalize on it. And I know Marcia has a range of courses that are available. I know there's some that excited me um, naturally, music business, teaching music to others online, whether you're arranging for songwriters, the art of music production, we have tons of creative people expressing themselves and we have a lot of contests and going on has this barrage of nominees for awards why because the creativity oozes but how do we move that creativity to the next level so that we are confident enough to showcase that globally with our very strong cultural roots in Barbados. And I think that this is what Coursera opens up the vista for us uh, to really take advantage of it. And we can, we can learn in our own time. So that's even better because some of us are up one, two o'clock in the morning, <laughs> you know, others wake up at that time. Some wake up at five. It's, it's just um, an exciting opportunity, but we've not been necessarily programmed to think about online learning. So this is a, a new approach that I think we can grasp with both hands. But Marcy and, and Randy, I'm gonna let you all share a lot of the specifics. That's just my excitement about what, what's here and what we can all enjoy. You know, we had a, oh, go ahead, Zay. Yeah, just one reaction to Dr. Leacock's comment on human skills. Uh, I was in a conversation with a technical leader, um, a chief technical officer about a few weeks ago, where he said something along the lines of, can you believe that human skills are back? That people are interested in developing human skills again? And I paused and I thought, wow, we really have swung to one end of the pendulum here, where for years we just talked about things like blockchain and JavaScript. But the truth is, is that to do any of these technical jobs also require you to have human skills or else we'd all be replaced by computers. And the beauty of what's coming and, and the realities of future of work was we all were worried we'd be automated into computers and machines. Turns out computer and machines aren't human enough to do our jobs. So what we need to do is sharpen our human skills through courses that aren't technical and then layer on top of that, the technical skills, which is what makes us prepared for the future of work. Whether you're in arts or you're in the creative industry or you're in the technical industry, both of these things are important. 
we have our first question. Uh, the first one actually I'm seeing in the chat, Coursera. Uh, where can I find the courses? And I'm going to respond to that one very quickly because I saw a response there, um, nti.org.bb. But we have a first question on the screen. How does a young person who is maybe now leaving school and is, an interest, and is interested in a digital job and let's say AI or virtual reality, what would their next steps be? Yeah, I, I, so I'll, I'll go first and then I'll, I'll pass to anybody else that they'd like to add as well. Um, one of the pieces that I love about what's happening with the ed tech space today is we are starting to focus a lot on this age group relative to job preparedness. So you heard the prime minister reference the, the, cert, the certificates and the scholarships that are available through the Coursera and TI partnership. These scholarships, these, these certificates, what we refer to as gateway certificates, are built by partners like Google, IBM, Salesforce to prepare you for entry level jobs within these roles. So one of the things I've heard talking to many, many young people is, oh, I have a liberal arts degree and I know nothing about IT or digital marketing or Salesforce CRM infrastructure. I must not qualify for these jobs. The reality is, is that all of these jobs have entry level roles built in within that. So these certificates are between four and five or six course certificates that by the time you complete the full gateway certificate, you are qualified for an entry level job at the company that created that certificate. So if you take a look at the gateway certs from Google, Google is not only building these gateway certs to say, these are the skills you would need to work at a place like Google, but companies like Walmart and JP Morgan and companies all over North America are saying, if you have this certificate, you qualify in jobs like IT or virtual reality or machine learning. And the reality is what the pandemic has done for us all is it's democratized work because now you can be in Barbados working for a company somewhere else and vice versa. And so these jobs are available, the skills and the certificates are available. And Marcel put in this, the, the URL to get to the NTI website so folks can start learning. We actually have a next question and I think it follows great on the trajectory of the first question. The person said, I am a creative, not really an academic, but I want to enhance my skills. Are there any courses that facilitate a non-traditional method of learning? Zay, do you want to take that? Yeah, sure. I, I wasn't sure if anyone else wanted to answer, but, but yeah, that, that is the epitome of our guided projects. While our guided projects are still um, technical in nature in terms of like actual application, many of our courses do focus on less theory, more application. So I would just say, take a look at the course descriptions and pick the one that's right for you. Like the prime minister has said, like Dr. Leacock has mentioned, there are thousands of courses, I am very confident that there would be one that will align very well to what you're looking for. And remember, you can visit the NTI's website, www.nti.org.bb for your opportunity to sign up for any of these courses um, of my course, Sarah, in partnership with the NTI and the government of Barbados. Our next question, what do you think are the top skills needed in today's global marketplace? What do you think are the top skills needed in today's global marketplace? I, I do see that Marcel is sharing her screen. Marcel, is there something you wanted to share with the broader group? No, I'm giving, you the giving them the opportunity to see some of the courses while you speak. Ah, okay, perfect. Thank you, Marcel. Sure. And Jamal, can I ask you to ask that question one more time? So what do you think are the top skills needed in today's global marketplace? Yeah, so some of the skills we talked about are definitely some of the ones that we see as top skills. If you actually go even simply to Google and you look up the Coursera skill index, which we can also make sure is sent as a follow-up, or Patrick, if you can hear me, if you can also add it to the link in the chat so folks can take a look. We know that today, things like data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence are the skills of the future. 
And don't think about artificial intelligence or data scientists as I am now a data scientist, right? Because that's extreme for even people like me that work for a company like Coursera. The question is, is how do I develop data science skills for the job I have today or the job I want tomorrow? So technical areas, data areas, cybersecurity, having a basic understanding of this is incredibly valuable. There's a course that I personally love because I'll be really honest and admit that I'm not a technical person. One of the courses I love the most is a course called AI for Everyone by Andrew Ning, who's one of our founders. This is a five hour course that literally just tells you what is artificial intelligence and how do you use it in your decision making, whether you're a nurse, you're a CEO, or you're an entry level IT person at a community school on the island of Barbados. What I love about this course is actually when we started thinking about this course, my feedback to the organization is, hey, we need what I refer to and was told we cannot name this was AI for dummies because that's how I felt. I was like, I need to be taught what AI is so I can speak articulately about it. So there are courses that don't require you to all of a sudden become a machine learning engineer in the next six months, but at a minimum start to build language and, and basic understanding so you can apply it to your regular jobs. What I think is interesting is that we recognize that there's still obviously a role with the Barbados Community College and the University of the West Indies. Um, but when we look at specific areas like AI and virtual reality, these are some areas where we're not that advanced yet in our, our traditional system. And this provides a perfect opportunity to fill the void here in Barbados. Barbados. And I think this is absolutely amazing uh, for individuals who may be interested in looking at the non-traditional areas, especially as we look to expand. Uh, we have a next question. Where can one enroll for these courses? And is there a cost attached? Where can one enroll for these courses? And is there a cost attached? Dr. Leacock, you want to answer that one? Happily. And I'm going to start with the second part of the question first. Absolutely no cost to you. It was a cost to the government, but it is a gift to the people of Barbados. And you can log on training.nti.org.bb. That simple. It's really that simple. F-R-E-E. F-R-E-E. Hobby class. <laughs> we are, I also saw a next question on the screen. Um, we, while we pull that up, I also just want to, to ask one question uh, pertaining to the, the period in which they start. Is it any time that you can start or is it a specific period um, that goes with the, the courses online? I can take this and then Marcel and Elfin, if you'd like to add any more, you're welcome to. Um, our platform is completely on demand. Now that doesn't mean that social learning isn't an important part of developing skills. So you, what you will see is things that like, it starts this course, Leading Innovation in Arts and Culture starts on February 3rd, meaning you will navigate this course and this content as a cohort, all starting on February 3rd. But if you fall behind, if life gets in the way, if you have a baby, you need to take two weeks off, you're able to pause your learning experience and jump right back in once the time allows. Great. We have a next question. I am a young man, an entrepreneur, and a social media manager from a vulnerable community. Unfortunately, I do not have any CXCs, but I really want to learn. What courses would you recommend? Marcel, you're with us now. I don't know if you want to jump in at this point. I can. Okay. Um, they are the Google certificates, um, social, the Google Social Innovation Certificates. I think that that is a perfect course for you to take. Um, that does not require that you have any kind of certification, but by the time you are finished the course, you will certainly be able to do all that is needed for entry-level position. Just to add, just to double on what Marcel is saying, 
the gateway certificates I referenced earlier require no college education, no previous experience in the industry. They are truly entry level certificates, meaning I know nothing about computers or IT. I can start the Google IT certificate on course one. That's the commitment that we have made on our gateway certificates. It's why we call them gateway. They are the entryway certificates into the field. And, and just one thing to add um, to what Zid and Marcel have said is that the courses are designed for you to take the information in bite-sized pieces. So you could have your coffee every morning and do a little bit. There's a video usually at the beginning. And these courses that you see here, Skills for Global Success and the Coursera Social Impact Scholarships for that person, that individual who just asked about not having anything, these are tools that are absolutely um, well designed. They're, there's nothing about the language or the format that's intimidating. And you can simply log on and do a little bit every morning while you have your breakfast. You can watch the video and the video is usually available in text. So if it depends on what you prefer. If you prefer to read, you can read the text. If you prefer videos, they're there. And what is really wonderful about the format of Coursera as well is as a learner, you might start and you might get distracted and they'll just nudge you. They don't annoy you, but they'll nudge you and say, hi, are you stuck? Did you forget something? Do you, do you need a nudge? I mean, literally, it's just as if they're with you and they're gonna help you get through it. Some of the courses, as you can see, you get an information on the right side and it tells you um, the duration of it, that it is at beginner level. So you, have, you don't need any prior experience and it tells you what the format is and that it is flexible. It's online, yes, but it is flexible. So you can really do it in your own time. And then at the very bottom, there's also a, a sort of network of learners that can support each other and they rank each course. So you can go through all of this before you start and say, you know what, I could do this in, in the next three months or I could do it in the next four weeks because I have a lot of time and I can decide, okay, I'll allocate four hours a day or some of them are even less than that. So they're short and pithy. We don't have university courses um, university degrees because we already have a university, but we do have university quality qualifications from the best universities in the world. And they have designed these courses in packages that allow you to, to uh, enjoy learning because it's, it's there forever. And just to add one piece on top of that that I think is really important when you think about Coursera content, if you download our app, onto your mobile device. All of our content is downloadable and playable on Wi-Fi, without Wi-Fi, on your data or off data. So what we see a lot of our learners do is when they're in a location that has good service or has good Wi-Fi, they'll download the entirety of a course and then they'll consume that course at maybe a time where you don't have the connectivity that you would be looking for. Meaning this content is incredibly accessible. And there is Marcel with like the perfect screen share. Thanks, Marcel. <laughs> what a great assistance for us this evening, Marcel. <laughs> uh, and, and we have the next question from the audience online. Although NTI is an online learning platform, do you have persons to assist me through the registration process? And if any challenges occur? I think that will lead to you, Marcel. Yes, we do. And How does what? Go ahead. Sorry. Um, I was just about to say to you, we do. And if you are on the site or if you're having challenges getting onto the site, we have um, support NTI. I'm going to have the link added to the chat so that it can be shared. But there is a support portal through which information can be attained. And we have that kind of one on one support for people who are having challenges. So I know sometimes for some people, it may be a little intimidating coming onto the site 
for us who are accustomed to dealing with it, it's, it's par for the course. But for someone who is having challenges, you certainly can um, ensure that we talk to you, walk you through, whether it's by phone, whether it's online, and make sure that you can get uh, that problem resolved. Marcel, what about if an individual is not aware, uh, they want to participate, they want to do a course, but they don't know what course they should should do and they're just scrolling through and they're they're just lost what should i do I, I want to improve myself i want to participate and take advantage of this opportunity to have a free course but what exactly should i do that's that's through the same portal we provide that kind of help as well we've had to help people through making choices and sometimes it's uh, we, we have a, a real big problem the big problem we have is that we have so much <laughs> and, so, and so sometimes it can be overwhelming. So as a result, we also do provide that kind of support. Sometimes people will just reach out to us and say, look, I, I want to do X or Y, but I don't know where to start. And, and we can provide them with that kind of guidance as well. Great. If we have a next question, I, I think someone wanted to ask a question in there or jump in there. Randy, was that you? Yeah, I just wanted to add... Um... Add to what Marcel had um, alluded to earlier, um, we did we do have persons calling saying that they don't know what courses they would like to do. So we ask them, what are your interests? What are your passions? And then we once we understand, you know, um, the direction you would like to go, then we assist you from there in matching you with the, the right courses so you can start your learning journey. Great. Well, we have a next question. The prime minister often talks on active citizenship. Can you give us an insight into the citizenship course? Alison, I see you smiling. Yes, because this is this is my my love. Uh, I, full full disclosure, and uh, I, I confess that it is really one of the things that I believe is going to be. Uh, a key factor in all of us transforming. Obviously, this course uh, now has to be adapted and upgraded to include our new status as, as a, a parliamentary republic, as well as all of the, the discussion that emerged from two uh, elections with no opposition, with the result of, of no opposition and all of the, the uh, parliamentary logistics that that provides for people to have this discussion about. But more importantly, active citizenship is really about each of us. We have a tendency to, to and we have over the years, felt that it was always somebody else's job. But just today we were in a session, Adrian Green and Maria Holder Small, both of whom are artivists, joined me in, in training one of our entities. And we walked through the value of, of some of this. So there are some course essentials that you see immediately that place everything in context. And then we look at excellence and integrity. And I know you recognize two faces there, um, perhaps more than the third, but equally Barbadians who made at their names internationally for their own excellence and integrity. Alan Emptage, Right Excellent, Cigarfield, Silvers, and Right Excellent, um, Robin Rihanna Fenty. Uh, we all know her as Rihanna, soon to be mom. And then we, <laughs> we have um, Citizenship Module 2, which is really looking at one of the planks that's essential for us all to refine and that is effective communication skills for everyday life because most of our challenges with each other really come from communication miscommunication developing new competencies this is an opportunity for you to explore why perhaps you are hesitant to try something new and we all are i mean i think it, it's human nature but this walks you through some of the things that you can do to explore and remove that inhibition. And then of course, take full advantage of the absolutely exciting range of courses that Coursera provides. Active teamwork again uh, is linked to how we determine we are going to function in our little corner, whether it is in our homes, at our churches, in our communities, 
and then we go farther in schools or elsewhere. And the final one, which is perhaps what determines our own confidence in the world and taking our rightful place in the world is understanding my national identity. So this is a course that we are very, very excited about. It is one, it is our most highly subscribed course on our learning management system, which, which includes eight indigenous courses, but we also have uh, an opportunity to adapt this course for primary schools and secondary schools. And of course, we'll be utilizing gamification for the primary schools and adapting the content for the various age groups. Our most recent addition is personal financial management. And I know we've had conversations with the Financial Literacy Bureau, and they have also been able to showcase uh, the work that they're doing to build our skills in managing our personal finances. So this is a, an, an online course. The, the sign language aligns very well with uh, NTI's focus on exactly what people with disabilities and the respect that they deserve in our country. So if you can learn a language that allows you to communicate even more effectively with our deaf community, then this is the course for you. And we have introduction to coding with Java, with Chris Welch, and both uh, sign language and the coding with Java allow you to set up an appointment with both Bonnie Leonce and Chris to talk about either of the two courses if you need to meet with them. So they're, they're available. So they have instructor-led training available to you. And of course, there's occupational safety and health, core skills, and entrepreneurship, all of which were developed in partnership with the Ministry of Labor and the International Labor Organization. And our very, very first course was Online Safety Essentials, which is still very relevant today and which will help us, I think, uh, train our population to spot fake news, to recognize that deep fakes are here. And we have um, a lot to, to really prepare ourselves with as we, we really become more familiar with the metaverse and all that it provides and can introduce to us um, in this 21st century. So there's a lot and it can be intimidating but it's also an exciting time to be alive because we, we can make choices. And Coursera has partnered with NTI and we have in turn had the grace and the, and the very kind gesture of the Coalition of Service Industries to partner with us for this evening's fishbowl, along with going on for us to have a sort of front seat road to our creatives. So there are a lot of opportunities. These are the training tracks that Coursera has. And I think Marcel, you are well-placed or Randy to take over and um, do your baby with Coursera here. And of course, Zay, you know all of these as well. So Randy, are you going to go? <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Um, Sorry, the Skills for Global Success, that has a mirage of courses um, involved in it. And it basically, that learning track showcases um, all the skills that you would need for, or you should not, not need, but you should have in today's learning environment. So you have a lot of, you, also, you know, you spoke about a lot about virtual reality and alternate reality. The, some of those courses are found in there as well. Um, programming with C++ is also in there, programming with JavaScript. We spoke about some of these skills that are needed for tomorrow's job or today's job, especially given the effects of COVID. We find that a lot of computer skills are really needed. A lot of technical skills are really needed, especially given that um, especially Barbados transitioned to um, a lot of online services. You know, prior to COVID, most of our services were offered face-to-face. -face. Since COVID, a lot of our services have um, become online. So you find that in, you will find that computer courses, the skills that are, that are acquired through 
computer programming, introduction to e-computer for those persons who don't know how to use it. Those are found in our skills for global success learning track. And when it comes to the Coursera social impact courses, there are five, there are five specializations in there. And the trainer thought by the NTI is offering those with the anticipation that persons who complete these learning tracks could possibly get work, get employment opportunities with Google. So we encourage persons, you know, uh, go into uh, Coursera Social Impact Scholarships. If there's anything that you're interested in, you know, sign up, enroll, start to pursue. And is a possibility that when, uh, once you complete and you submit your information to Google, there's a possibility that you could gain employment. Uh, it's not guaranteed, but it's a possibility. So that was one of the main criteria for offering these professional certificates. Um, in addition, to advance your career, that learning track, you have um, courses in there in construction, in digital marketing, also in finance specialization. Basic, basic tools you will need um, as you enter today's job market. So we encourage you, you know, to go have a look. Many courses are being offered and, you know, you will get the skills or you should attain the skills you need for today's working environment. I'm and, seeing and some... if, I may, if I may add, I'm sorry, if I may add, you will notice uh, the number of pages that exist across here. So there are so many pages of courses that exist. So I can click on any one of these and you'll see, you know, a whole new set of courses come up from which to choose. Someone was asking earlier about um, social media. Um, there are there are a number of courses that, that they can choose from, as you see across the, the bottom, how many pages there are. So um, I just wanted to add that, you know, it's not just what you're seeing that I'm sharing, but there are so many that you can search through. It's like online course shopping. <laughs> Someone was going to say something just now. I think I interrupted. I was just seeing a comment from Roseanne Tudor. She said, this uh, is not a question, but this opportunity presented by NTI and Coursera is a godsend to persons who have been challenged, specifically persons with disabilities, to access further education that offer an amazing competitive platform in this current environment and excellent employment opportunities. And what I found quite interesting, and I'm, I, I took a note on this side, is the beginner sign language course um, that you guys present. Uh, you know, Bonnie is a part of that as well. I definitely want to participate in that. I think, especially when we think about being a more inclusive society, um, that really augurs well for those who, who are definitely heading in that direction. Um, and Jamal, I'm also thinking, go ahead. Jamal? If you don't mind, I'd also add that for persons within the disabled community who are also high functioning, um, I've deliberately pulled up these um, courses in Excel because these are some of the courses that they can also take um, and improve their skills because, you know, this really fits within the realm of, of capabilities. It's not only um, the, the, the courses like the sign language course, which actually are for us to be able to communicate with members of the community who are deaf, but for people who are with disabilities to be able to also function within the context of the wider society and function effectively and excel. And with indeed, Excel with Excel. With Excel. <laughs> and also our site is specifically designed to be fully accessible. We did take the time to go um, and, and meet with the president of the Barbados Council for the Disabled, who is blind. And she was able to test our site and, and found that navigating it was really one of the best she had experienced. So we're very committed to ensuring that we are truly accessible and um, that we continue to partner with the Council for the Disabled as well to ensure that we keep this priority 
of our people with disabilities up front and center, because we, we have to move past this sense that it's a nuisance to add an accessible ramp. It, it should be part of any building, anytime, once we're building. So these are some of the things that are available, but as Marcel said, this, the, the, the courses are not exclusive to any one group. They're available to everybody and all sectors of society that want to, to develop whatever skills they, they may have in mind are free to do that. Great. In the interest of time, we, we know we scheduled one hour session today, but before we actually close off the questions and have closer remarks, um, I just want to run those uh, two videos which Zaid would have presented earlier that we didn't hear the audio exactly. We have them ready for you now. Yeah, we still don't have audio. Okay, well, these things happen. I think people actually post them listen, online. You can oh. hear it. Sometimes it's a whisper, sometimes a shout. That little voice inside all of us that says, you're destined for great things. You can be one of those people listening to that voice, switching careers, pushing for a promotion, discovering all you're capable of. Listen to that little voice. It's saying, I'm ready. This is my year. I feel it. Go get that. This is my year feeling. Excellent. And I think we also had a second video. Here we go. Learning is the source of human progress. It has the power to transform our world from illness to health, from poverty to prosperity, from conflict to peace. It has the power to transform our lives for ourselves, for our families, for our communities. No matter who we are or where we are, learning empowers us to change and grow and redefine what's possible. That's why access to the best learning is a right, not a privilege. And that's why Coursera is here. We partner with the best institutions to bring the best learning to every corner of the world. So that anyone, anywhere, has the power to tr transform their life through learning. Wonderful, wonderful. This has been a Fishbowl Conversation Series, Unleashing Your Full Potential, Equipped for Excellence. Uh, before I, we go, we're going to have some closing remarks. And I'm not satisfied that we will not hear Empress Zinga or, or DJ Simmons. So we're going to get them starting uh, with closing remarks, just to share their experience uh, with the NTI team and their involvement as well, especially as we gear up for the Gainon Awards. <laughs> Hello, good evening, everybody. Yes, this was really a, a, an awesome, awesome evening. Learned so much, yeah. really excited. Um, just like you, Jamal, I am interested in the sign language. Mm -hmm. I just want all the creatives out there to, to remember that when you are learning, you are adding more to your profile, right? It builds that confidence. And it, you have to be creative about creativity where you are able to now connect with online audiences who are not living here in Barbados. The internet is so small. So make sure that you find ways to enhance what you're doing, add on, you know, to if you're just a singer, there's so many things you can add on to that mm. to package yourself digitally for the world. Yeah, because sometimes you might think you will become the next Rihanna, not that there's anything wrong with that, but sometimes you might get challenges on your way to becoming the next Rihanna. And mm. you might think that you can only sing in front of a microphone, but you might be able to go onto NTI's website and mm. learn how to manage a business within the creative arts. You might become mm. a music teacher. You might become, instead of becoming an author right now, you might be able to teach how to write as I do as a side mm. job as well. I teach people how to write. You know, these little things always help boost your confidence it expands uh your foundation in how you want to grow how you want to live keep the lights on while 
call you get into your main dream mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with that at all and i think that nti's website and the initiative is pretty much a godsend like it was said in the chat like mm -hmm. there's so much that you can learn from this website and it's mm -hmm. free of cost so you don't have to worry about oh how am i going to get this course i really want mm -hmm. this certificate like literally the world is your oyster and you don't have any obstacles right now you just gotta sit down and actually do the work wow and as empress zinga said nti coursera f r double e free <laughs> thank you guys uh thank marcel, you so much we're gonna come to you marcel we know that you have much more of an intimate role with the coursera um and we want to hear some feedback from you as we close I am delighted to be able to share this information with the members of the coalition, um, as well as any members of the public who have joined this evening. We are here to help you through and to find the courses that you want to, to engage in. We know that there are many, many, many courses, but please do not be intimidated by that. Just reach out to us. And we are going to be able to walk through with you, providing that support, hand holding. And, and as you go through our, our social pages as well, at NTI star with a double R, Bajan, you will find you will find the information that you need and you can reach out to us via those channels as well. So no problem. There's free window shopping and there is free course information. So there's nothing to stop you. As, as Zaid's uh, video said, this is my year. This is our year in Barbados and there are so many courses to do. Awesome. Dr. Leacock, Alison Leacock. I, I really would want to say that even for us, um, the process of partnering with Coursera was transformative for us as a team. And um, if there is a model of, of the value of partnership in a very meaningful way, this, is, this has been it and it continues to be it. We, they could easily have said, well, okay, your platform is integrated. You got the courses, sayonara, they didn't. And they're always here um, with us. So it, it's been wonderful. And I, I, I want to really uh, salute the, the entire Coursera team, but I also want to salute my team because we are a very small team with a monumental task. And um, I am not the uh, easiest person because I always want everything yesterday and I want us to do as many things as we can. And um, it, it's challenging, but I believe that we are up to the task and the team has delivered and have demonstrated their own skill sets uh, in showcasing what Barbados can do. So for me, uh, this has been a wonderful evening and I really want to thank the Coalition of Service Industries. I want to thank DJ and Empress for their always electric energy. And I really want to thank Patrick uh, as our focal point in Barbados with Coursera, but Zay and the entire team at, at Coursera for being wonderful partners and opening a whole new world for us as a, a small island developing state that really has taken its place in the world. We believe that we deserve to be out front in the world and we're going to stay there thanks to these courses. So mine is really just a, a huge thank you to everybody for the synergies and the energy. And our, our new friend of Barbados, uh, Zaid, the Director of Customer Success for Americas and International Governments, all the way from San Francisco, California, join us this evening as our featured speaker. Uh, Zaid Badwan, we want to ask you to give your closing remarks and just sell to anyone who's out there having a moment of doubt. Is this for me? Is it not for me? Your closing remarks, Zaid. Yeah, thank you, Jamal. And I... Uh... Couldn't agree more what Dr. Leacock and, and Marcel and the team have been saying. While Dr. Leacock was saying that the partnership has opened the doors for 
Barbados, it also feels like it's opened the doors for Coursera and me personally. We get asked to do things like this pretty regularly, but not so often do I walk away from them feeling the way I feel today, which is just inspired and excited. And also I'm thinking, what's my next course? And I need to get into what and start learning too, because hey, even when you work here, sometimes life gets in the way. And so my message to everyone is just start. Just go to the website, pick a class and start it. There is this funny thing that happens when people make decisions on course selections. They think, well, I've started this very advanced machine learning course and unless I finish it, I must fail at Coursera. The truth is start, play with it. Decide if it's the right course, enroll in another one. Call Marcel, I'm sure she'll answer. Ask her which other courses you should consider. That is the beauty of having access to this many courses. Um, just tonight, go online, sign up, make an account, start learning. Nothing is slowing you down. I will be doing the same and picking a course for myself as my next course for this year. Um, but it also, it's just been such an honor to be here. Thank you for allowing us to, to join you and speak. And I'm looking forward to seeing all the amazing learning that happens in Barbados. Awesome. Thank you, Zaid. And I also want to thank my team at BCSI. We too have a small team at the Coalition of Service Industries. Uh, and I, I want to thank our secretary, at Ashley Phillips, as well as Alicia Selman, who facilitated today. And I, I know Randy Clark and Tahir Bobulia participated as well from the NTI team. They joined us this evening. Remember, you can visit the website training.nti.org.bb for any information. All the courses are available there. They're helping you to unleash your full potential um, and equip yourself for success. They're creating and truly shaping the star Bajan, selecting, training, assessing, reviewing, and recognizing the model citizen, that star with a double R. Remember, you can always view this presentation and share it with any of your friends, any of your family. It's going to be up on the BCSI Facebook page for some time so you can watch on demand. And we really want to thank each and every one of you for joining us this evening, for participating in this conversation and helping us, allowing us to help you to unleash your full potential. Have a good evening, everyone.